again. Thanks to Devin over here. We torqued it to 76 foot pounds on uh, the flywheel bolts. And then next we're gonna put the clutch in. We'll probably do that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, everything's in. Uh, this one actually has a pilot bearing, like I said, already built into it, so that's good. And probably just gonna wipe it down and tomorrow we'll put the spec clutch on. All right guys, that's up again. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and mount the clutch on. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, mount the clutch now. All right guys, we're opening up the spec clutch right now. We got it right here. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up. Nice and clean. I'll put this down. Comes with a bearing, like I said, is you're reusing your flywheel. Um, it comes with a bearing, so you put a new one in, but we're not going to be using it. got the new spec friction, uh, friction disc right here and now we're going to go ahead and mount it with the alignment tool which it comes with as well yeah here it is let's go with this on I'm gonna get the clutch now. And I believe it came with um, Allen key bolts, which is up here. I'm gonna unscrew these Allen keys that's on the flywheel right here. All right, so that way I don't get this wrong. So you actually could see FW, which is flywheel side. So this is actually going towards the flywheel. So it's gonna go this way in. So that's just how it's gonna go in that way. Next, we are going to put this on, like I said, we're going to take the Allen key bolts off. Alright, now that we took off all of the, the hardware that was on the flywheel, we're going to go ahead and put the clutch on. I wish I could move this out of your way for you. Let me see if I can have a bungee. Alright, I'm just gonna throw our mallet, but there's dial pins. these guys in. I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite just to be safe. All 
Alright guys, so I do not have the proper um, Allen key to torque the spec clutch on or the pressure plate. What I need is a size 6 and a socket. So I'm going to go ahead and Matt comes today, so I'm going to work and go grab one. I might just try to buy just that one socket for now, hopefully he has it. And then eventually I'll buy a set or maybe I'll order a set and just buy at least a socket for today. I don't know, we'll see. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and work this down when I come back later today. All right guys, so I got actually um, the mat right here. I got, it came by like I said, and we picked up a little uh, torque set so that way we can torque that. So we're gonna torque it, I believe to 23. Just because Spec has a message me back about the torque sequence, I think OEM, it's about 17 foot-pounds to or 19 foot-pounds so we're gonna go up just a little bit to 23 that should be plenty for this clutch and yeah we're gonna go ahead and torque it all right so it is now torqued with a 23 to be plenty like I said and we've got went all around so we'll go ahead and pull this out there you go nice everything looks pretty good Nice and aligned. Installing the transmission to here, which is right there. I'm probably going to clean that up probably this weekend, and that's where we're going to pick it up at. All right, we are back, and I wish I recorded, but my uh, GoPro is running out of memory. Uh, but we actually got the transmission on thanks to Devin over here. Uh, so we're going to find the torque sequence for these bolts, even the starter bolt, because we're here. Why not? There's two um, 14s, and the rest are 17 millimeters. We put on i knew i got a brand new piece you probably saw it in the video of this and i cannot find it and it's bugging me i'm gonna try to find it all right so um i couldn't find the torque sequence so i tightened it up just by hand as tight as i can got the starter tightened up and i actually put the the front bracket back in uh now that it's because it goes from the engine and tranny so this goes on after so that's in we put in here uh we put back the the little shaft back in so that way that's in there now um but yeah so that's good next uh we're probably gonna i might just drop the motor in i guess and then i, I really want to i could put the tie rod ends back in and just start slowly getting together so maybe i'll just start i'll probably drop the motor back inside all right before we put the motor in we will be taking off the oil filter housing which is right here three bolts to uh, 312 so we're gonna take this this off take it out because um i heard this gives in the way i took it off when i pulled the engine out and i'm just gonna do the same thing and put it right back on all right guys so i'm gonna show you guys real quick so when you have the innovative transmission mounts so you're gonna reuse this bracket right here you're gonna take off this one right here which is these guys so you're gonna take that off and it's gonna come with this piece. This piece goes right in there to keep that more evenly, as you can see. And you just break the nut off and then now you gotta end that right here. We're just gonna screw down. Technically it should screw in there. If it's skinnier, then it works and you got a nut. But yeah, we're gonna mount this up right now and see what happens. All right guys, so I got it on right here. I just had to force it down because it came with a nut, but I don't know how you could use it. Um, under there is threaded, so yeah. All right guys, so I got the innovative motor mount on. I put the three bolts on the side first and then put the middle one on. Um, and I had a, I just forced it in there because the bottom is threaded. And for some reason, it just didn't like to catch, so I just forced it on, and that was good. We're gonna go ahead and work on the side mounts for the bottom side ones, which are these ones, and try to get those lined up down there. All right, guys, so I got the rear one in. What I did was, uh, well, you probably won't need to take off this bracket, you're just gonna take off this one, this one, and I don't know if it'll be easier for you, but yeah, you can take off this one right here pops out the new ones lines up pretty good so that's that i'm gonna go ahead and now probably put my um oil housing filter that's way over there back on that side and we should be pretty much done for today 
All right, so I got it all in now, put it back together. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put this, I believe it's called a half shaft. Go ahead and put this back in, I have to go under it and shove this in. The bolts should be under there already, and then I'll put the shield on after. And then I'm gonna put the axles on and slowly get this together. Oh, I'll probably put this on and then probably put the shock, the, N, the NRG um, rear dampener. I'll show you guys once I do that. All right guys, so we are gonna be installing the new, um, what do you call it, shock or whatever. Uh, this is a rear torque dampener, that's what it's called. Rear torque dampener. Um, came with some bushings. Not too sure why yet. Came with plenty of hardware. So yeah, so I guess I'll go under the car and just, just kind of see where this goes. Uh, and we'll go from there. We are currently under the car. So we got one bolt right here and we got two up here. You can kind of see where my fingers are. I'm going to take these off because I already have them off already. So I guess this is where we, um, we test fit it. I don't know why it came with new hardware. It isn't, these bolts don't go all the way through. So that don't really make too much sense that it came with hardware. But I'll see if the hardware even fits on here. So we got the bolts off right here. With the new hardware with the lock washer and everything. I'm gonna see if this threads in. See, this one, I don't even think it's the same uh, thread pattern. This one might be more coarse, so we ain't gonna use the hardware. If anything, we'll use the washer and everything. So uh, I think first, I'm gonna go ahead and take this here off. We'll take this off, and we're gonna mount the bracket on first. So we'll use we put it a washer and then we'll do uh just like that and put the bolt in just like that and let's put these on first i won't record it but yeah we'll put it back all right guys so as you can see the bolts up there i had to use like three washers because um where is it at The OEM bracket is pretty thick. So when I went to reuse the hardware, it would it was kind of bottoming out. So I put a bunch of washers. Technically, uh, I was told that this really don't do anything. So it should be safe enough to put three washers on it. And, but yeah, well, we have three washers on it. Next, we are gonna go ahead and put this guy on. And uh, just like, I'm trying to see which way this one went, and then I'll put probably this the exact same way. All right guys, that's our the video, guys. And we might end it here, but um, yeah, so I put the NRG one, uh, I had it adjusted, so it's not really that long, so it's, it's barely on there. I, I would say with the red, so we got the lock one, we're gonna lock that up. I ended up putting a washer right here and the bushings between here, just because it makes sense, I guess. Because um, my around the bottom one has these bushings, I guess. And then um, yeah, and you can't put bushings at the top, so I put the cutter pin up there, and I tighten it up, and I could tighten it up more, but it squishes the bushings, and I don't know if that's good or not, so I just did it at this tight, tight, and hopefully that's good. And I guess now I'm gonna go lock up this um, this uh, locking nut. That way it doesn't like thread off or nothing. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it for the rear dampener. You guys were wondering where the old motor went. It's right here. Gonna get scrapped. Took most of everything I could think of off. But yeah, it's been sitting here. I think it's freaking right. I wanted to open it up, but I really just wanted to get it out of the shop. So I did not even bother even trying to open this up. You can see the rear main was leaking like crazy. Look at how oily. Look at that. Nasty. 
The rear main steel is leaking. Power steering looks like it was leaking and probably the front um, oil um, gasket probably or housing is leaking as well. But yeah, this thing is a goner. I could technically save the 10 center if I really wanted to. And then this is the harness for the uh, crank shaft position sensor. Uh, it's oily. I don't even want to even bother even trying to grab that. But yeah, everything's right, still here basically. Maybe one day if, if this is a good scrap right away, I'll go and grab them, um, you know, open them up and see what actually happened. But as of right now, fuck it. I don't care about this motor no more. Glad it's out of my life.